so much for your company this Monday morning on The Circle. Well, tighter budgets and the trend towards retro fashion has seen an increase in the number of fashion-conscious bargain hunters at op shops right around the country, as we see with Hamish's pants. How much did they cost you? <laughs> Boom. And right now, on location at the Salvo store in Melbourne CBD to show us how we can spot a gem, we're joined by circle fashion expert Emily Powell. Good morning, Em. Have you had any success with your hunt for something wardrobe worthy? Definitely. We're on a bit of a treasure hunt of sorts here at, uh, at a Salvo store. I'm wearing a little uh, $10 Burberry check sort of uh, dress that uh, we found here, which I'm, I'm quite happy with this little find. Um, op shopping is certainly nothing new, but it's got real cachet again. And that's because of the popularity of shows like Mad Men and the re-emergence of 60s and 70s fashion well, coming into vogue in the current collections and stores has made retro dressing uh, really a must-have again. The Salvos have put together six fantastic outfits for us today. N none of them are over $25 from head to toe, so they're a real wow. bargain. Some of them are quite individual, but others reflect some of the current trends. So I'm going to talk you through some of the fantastic looks that we've discovered. So this is the first one here, and it is quite loud. And, pr <laughs> and big, bold, vibrant pr prints are in trend at the moment. They're on the runways and they're coming into stores. So this is a real 70s style blouse. And just to modernise it, we paired it with with a pair of Cheap Monday skinny jeans. And Cheap Monday is a brand that's around at the moment. So they're a really great buy. Mm. And together, that's quite on trend and very, very loud and a bit of fun. And another print style we found, and these are sort of daytime outfits, um, is a little pussy bow neckline um, floral frock. Florals are again huge at the moment and, and will be enormous again in spring and um, summer coming. And knife pleats have been in trend for the last few seasons as well. That nice, sharp, sharp knife prints, knife pleats. So this dress could be could be from the racks of any, any boutique or store at the moment. That's a gorgeous little buy. Now we've got some corporate wear, and this is a real um, retro style. It's um, uh, outfit, but it's a bit of a secretary's outfit from the 1940s. So Ooh. you've got that gorgeous little embroidered neckline. So this is a little point of difference, perhaps, if you wanted something for the office. Uh, and the skirt as well is that typical 40s uh, length, which is below the knee to the calf. So it's quite demure and ladylike. Uh, so you're almost getting a of an original look there. And then there's the um, uh, classic black um, suit, which every woman needs in her wardrobe. Under 20, you know, not, nothing over $25 here. This is a bit of a must have. So if you're re entering the workforce or needing some basics, why not come to a Salvo store and pick up a bargain for yourself? It's a lovely, beautiful quality suit. And we've got some cocktail outfits as well. Oh, so we've gone wow. from day to work to night. Wow. Isn't that absolutely gorgeous? Yeah. I know it's beautiful. This could have been made for someone actually. I had a look on the tag. There wasn't a tag on the back and it's engineered beautifully. We've have a look at this, this gorgeous oh. little petticoat underneath for dancing. So it's a real sort of little 50s style frock and we put the little corsage on it just to finish it off. It's beautiful. And now here we've got a maxi dress with again the knife pleats which is really trendy. This is great for spring and summer and uh, pastels are going to be huge so you'll be seeing in all the glossy magazines at the moment these gelato <coughs> colours and this is very very trendy. This this is a colour that you'll see a little bit of. Hey, um, and whilst we've been sure... Oh yes, yes. Um, just going to interrupt. I can't believe the quality of those and they look so beautiful. Great condition. So you're in the Melbourne CBD. Are all those outfits for sale at the moment? Yes, they are. We picked them off the floor today. So if you really love any of these outfits here, you could pick them up today. They are in beautiful condition. It's not a, a, a mothball type of op shop at all. Op shops have really um, had a bit of a zhuzh up, um, I, give you I a think you could say. Uh, Can I give you a hint, though? Girls? Is that you've uh, got I've... to get to the regional op shops. You've got to get to the regional salvos or the oh. outer suburban salvos. I'm a big op shopper and they haven't been picked over as much. Oh, okay. There's yeah. good gear in there, yeah. Keep, keep, keep going yeah. and we're loving this segment. Yeah, that's a great tip actually because they're not as rummaged over. So do go far right. It's a great uh, weekend trip to go up to the country to one of the op shops. Now I found Chris, who's an avid op shopper, and we bumped into you here today. Um, right. Tell me about one of the treasures that you found whilst you've been op shopping. That would be this Chanel belt, <gasps> which I actually purchased for fifty cents, what? and I recently got it valued oh. at fifteen hundred dollars. That oh. is amazing. How a brilliant. bargain! How brilliant! And what would be your tip for op shopping that people could keep in mind to find a bargain like? you have? Um, I always suggest asking staff where the costume box is because often you find little treasures in there which are less expensive than the ones on the rack. 
Fantastic. Well, there's some great tips there. So why not get out and go op shopping, be prepared to rummage, roll up your sleeves and you might find a fantastic bargain like a 50 cent Chanel belt. How wonderful. Um, Just, I'm going to have a little bit of look around and see what I can find. So it's back to you guys. Thank you very much. Just what I've always wanted, a 50 cent Chanel belt. <laughs> Thanks for Thank Emily Powell. Hey. Time now for today's Final Circle Off with Nikki. <laughs>